Hey guys, so when you when you use Elementor on some projects, especially projects that have um, some, let's say, heavy themes, the times when you realize that um, the the editor is doesn't load, like it doesn't load, no matter what you do, it doesn't load. So this video, I just want to show you how you can quickly walk around it. Okay, so there are different ways to go about it. Um, in most cases, the easiest way to solve this is changing your theme. So your theme might be is is like the most um, common reason why this editor is going to have this issue. Another thing might be um, your third-party plugins and um, just basically any other plugin that is not Elementor Pro or Elementor. So that's like the permanent way of solving this. But if you don't have the time, let's say you're on the time crunch and you want to edit uh, something and you can't just get rid of this eternal loading stuff. Um, the easiest way to go about it is just right click on it. So you go directly on it, right click and click on inspect. Okay. So when you do that, what's going to happen is it's going to open inspector tools on your browser. So I'm, I'm currently using brave, but this works for Chrome or any other browser. Just make sure you could, uh, you open inspector tools, um, developer tools. You can also do it from here. You click on this, go to more tools and you see developer tools here. Control shift i so depending on your browser so what you what you do is you're going to find the elements with this id elemental panel state loading i'm going to copy this id so that i can just post show you how to do it um i'll add it to the video description so if you, you don't want to go through the stress of finding this id you just press ctrl f and you paste in the id like i said i'm going to paste add this to the video description so once you do that you see the it will highlight the the element responsible for this loading so just right click on it and click on delete element once you do that it's going to be free you can edit publish and it's going to work perfectly so like i said this is just a simple fast way to solve this issue if you want to solve it permanently you either have to increase your memory that's the memory of your php um, for your server or you find the theme or the plugin that might be causing the issue. So that's basically how uh, to solve this. This one I just showed you is if you're in a hurry, you don't want to go through all that stress. You just want to make a quick edit and, or let's say you just want to manage it like that as possible. So that's just, um, yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys on the next one.